Hey guys, Killer Kate here. Welcome back to another episode of Ken's Killer Sources. I've seemed to up upped my software skills, apparently. Uh, we've got a countdown timer and everything. So look, I've even got my logo up here. Uh, so basically why I'm here early, we were meant to do Jesus' Hot Sources at 2 o'clock, but things change and I had to come on and do them now. So... Hello to everyone that is here. Hey, Breezy. How are you doing? Uh, share it around. So I believe I am live on my Facebook and uh, YouTube for the first time. So this is cool. I can record uh, on both, which is awesome. That, that, that looks weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I can record on both, which is awesome. So uh, if you... If you hear, say good day uh, or destinations. Yeah, so I believe I'm recording on both YouTube and on Facebook. So this is awesome for me and for you guys. And you guys won't miss any videos and it will get posted to YouTube and my Facebook page. So that that's awesome. But like I said, we're here a little bit earlier because, like I said, things change. Um, and we're, we're, we're good with that, but we can work the schedule around it. But let, let, let me take myself out and show you something. So, one second. Let me remove my... So, I've even got my background and whatnot in there. So, when I do have friends that join into streams, they can also see that as well. But I'm not expecting there to be many people on at this time of the day like i said i did go early uh because obviously i've got stuff to do people to see things to do um chase the heat shirt on today i absolutely love my chase the heat shirt shout outs to johnny so thank you very much um but yeah this is how i'm going to be running things from now Streamyard. i've paid for a subscription so i can have all my branding behind it and yeah i'm just gonna Go and see how 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 it does here. So um, let me hide that one there for a second, and we'll get we'll get this reviewing going. So it's not only a hot sauce review. So the guys over at Jesus Hot Sauce were kind enough to send me two bottles of each. So basically, what we're going to be doing, I can't even get them straight because I'm using my my camera on my my laptop. But we've got two sources the pineapple jerk and the habanero red pepper. But we're also doing a giveaway on these ones. So for your chance to be, so I've got four, four of these bad boys here. I'm giving two away. Uh, postage is all being covered and stuff by Jesus. They sent me out a, a express package uh, so I can put them in and get them out to the uh, winner. So basically how I'm gonna run the giveaway is I'm going to put up a post on Facebook. Uh, and basically all you have to do is tell me how you came across Chem's Killer Sources, why you enjoy Chem's Killer Sources uh, content, and I'll go through it with my partner and I'll choose the best uh, one that sort of resonates more with me. But I wanted to do something different other than just a random number generator uh, thing like I normally do. So it's going to be more of a personal personal thing so what you need to know is to win a bottle of the haze juice hot sauce you need to say how you came across chems killer sources and why you like watching my reviews and content uh i don't know why anyone does because i'm just here doing my part for the chili business one thing i did forget to grab is a knife because these are wax sealed so let me go grab one of those and i'll be back I should be more I should be more organized. But like I said, the people that don't see this now will definitely see it later and then they can also see it on the YouTube too because we're live on YouTube. So Hazes Hot Sauce, I got these sauces before COVID hit and I've been meaning to do these sauces for a very long time. So I apologize to the guys at Hazus that I haven't done the review yet. But we're doing it today, so that's all that matters. So First, we'll start off with, uh, we'll, go, we'll go with the habanero one first. 
I do have my Johnny Scoville spoon as always. But yeah, these are wax sealed, so they are going to be tough, which is why I just went and grabbed a knife. But guys, it's definitely a source you want to win, so definitely after the stream's finished, go in. To enter the giveaway. Oh Jesus, these are sealed really well. And tell me why and how you came across Kem's Kill Sources, whether it had been meeting me at a festival, having friends in common, and why you like watching my my content. I, I mean, I try my best. I'm by no means a god at doing what I do. I just like to do my part for the chili community and I hope it makes a difference. So I can't even get this bottle open. So I should have thought about, oh, there we go. I think I've got it now. Okay, yes, I've got it now. Oh, it's got a restrictor. No, that's definitely coming off. Oh, now I've got hot sauce all over my computer. Even better. Anyways, we've got the wax seal off, so that's the main thing. Yeah. Hot sauce everywhere. Uh, oh, Jesus. Now hot sauce everywhere again. Jesus. What am I doing? I'm having a good one today. That's that's for sure. Okay. So this is the habanero and red pepper. And the ingredients are habaneros, red capsicum, rice wine vinegar, smoked garlic, and salt. So these sauces are also fermented. But look at the color. Beautiful colour, yeah, sauce spewing out everywhere because I'm silly and, yeah, I'm just silly. Okay, oh, I think so, I think, so the lid is the actual wax seal, that's pretty cool. So it's definitely got a strong, strong capsicum smell to it. Now I need paper towel because I'm getting hot sauce everywhere. <laughs> I, di I didn't think that was going to happen, but what can you do? So mother of pearl spoon, don't taint your sauce, bro. Grab yours at chaserheat.com. So we have the Scoville Slayer in the house. How are you, Kyle? All right. So again, this is the habanero and red pepper. It's got a real forward capsicum smell, but let's get this onto our spoon without getting more hot sauce. Oh, yeah, very, very runny. So as you can see, it's just staying on the spoon, but this is Jesus's. Habanero and red pepper. Cheers. Mm. For a habanero sauce, it's got quite a bit of heat to it. it. It's reminding me of like a like a pizza. A pizza. It all like it's funny. I'm going to say this. It almost tastes like you're eating salami. That's quite unique. Boon, I need to get paper towel. <laughs> I've got hot sauce everywhere. Sorry, I'm I'm very unorganized today. I guess it's the first stream feels, the first stream ner nerve feels, which I don't know why I'd be nervous, but, you know, I've been doing this a long time. But now I've got hot, hot sauce everywhere, so, yeah, I like the flavor of that's awesome. It's like I said, it's like eating salami. That's the only way, way I can pronounce it. It's like, I love salami. It's like you're eating a fresh slice of salami. And it's weird because it, like I said, it's a capsicum sauce. So it's like a capsicum, habanero, salami flavor bomb. <laughs> but whoever wins this, this bottle, you're going to love it. I can see this going on lots of Mexican food. Definitely an awesome sauce for Mexican, that's for sure. I'm just still trying to clean up all the hot sauce I've spilt everywhere. Really, really tasty. I've got a nice sort of whole, whole round, whole round, whole over the mouth. Boom. Running means a good sculling sauce. Each to their own. But yeah, definitely a great sauce, guys. Uh, definitely hit up Hazel's Hot Sauce. Tell them Killer K sent you and get your hands on a bottle of the habanero and red pepper. I'll show you the one that's not got hot sauce everywhere. 
But the next one that we have is the Pineapple Jerk Jamaican. Now, I've been looking forward to this one because I love my Caribbean flavours and a jerk sauce, a Jamaican jerk sauce has lots of Caribbean flavours. So I'm expecting, I haven't looked at the ingredients, but I'm expecting like scotch bonnets and the likes in the ingredients of this one. So this one is, Where's the ingredients in this one? Uh, here we go. Ingredients. Uh, wood oven roasted pineapples, which sounds awesome. Bird's eye chilies, apple cider vinegar, water, salt, garlic, spices, and xanthan gum. So no, I, I expected to be like a scotch bonnet or whatnot. So it's only got bird's eye chilies. So it should have a little tingle. Nothing too crazy, but we'll get... Again, the wax seal, I think the actual cap is the, the wax cap is the seal. So maybe before I open it, I should give it a bit of a shake up so I don't get hot sauce everywhere like I did the first time. Okay, so I hope you guys like this new way of me doing reviews live on StreamYard. Uh, I, I seem to enjoy it a lot more because I can add videos and countdown timers and whatnot. So when I, I'm doing challenges, it makes it a lot easier also. Okay, we've got it open. So the best the best way to open these bottles, guys, is just cut along the ridge of the bottle and the lid literally comes off as so. Oh, can smell that pineapple. Oh, smoky, sweet. All right, let's go. This smells, it smells like, like kebab sticks that you have on the barbie here in Australia. I probably should have took the cap off, but this one's a runny sauce too, like the other one, so it's probably better that it's got the nipple on it so I don't spill it everywhere. So this is Jesus's Pineapple Jerk Jamaican Hot Sauce. Cheers. Oh, smoky, sweet pineapple straight away. You get the pineapple straight away. So every time I have pineapple, it makes my tongue go little. Wow, you get that awesome hit of pineapple straight off. And then the smoke comes through. There's no real heat to it on my scale. Pineapple, smoky, sweet, smoky, little bit of spice. That stuff's good. Look, third, third, third teaspoon. But for, for us Aussies, the ones that do like pineapple, you're going to love this. Mm. Oh, wow. That's definitely my favourite out of the two. It's got the sweet, the smoky from the smoked pineapple. Sweetness from the... Oh, that's awesome, like, seafood sauce, this one. White meats, chicken, pork, fish perfect for that type of stuff very very like white meat orientated this sauce this is really really tasty i highly recommend this sauce this sauce is really really good i really liked the habanero and red pepper one like i said it reminded me of salami salami and salami and capsicum but that pineapple jerk jamaican sauce that is bloody beautiful I mean, awesome. But guys, for your chance to win a bottle of Hazy's hot sauce, I'm gonna put pictures up of the bottles of hot sauce and all you have to do is tell me how you came across Chem's Killer Sources and tell me why you enjoy Chem's Killer Sources content and maybe what I can improve, because uh, can always improve. Uh, always, I'm always trying to improve myself and get better at talking and how how yeah, and trying to pronounce things and stuff like that. So I'll put up a post a little bit later. Uh, tell me why you like watching my content. How you came across Kem's Killer Sources, and 
if you think I should change anything or how I can better myself at being a reviewer. But that was another episode of Chem's Killer Sources. We reviewed Jesus's hot sauces, pineapple jerk, and a habanero and red pepper. Thank you all so much for watching, and until the next one, stay here.